I'm here representing the Elmdale Foundation, and we're a federally registered charity for environmental education. So the folks here know that I don't get involved in, in the battle, I just focus on, on the science. And, and, and so that's, that's my comfort zone, and I just want to continue to focus on the science. So because you mentioned pristine water, at some point when I was doing all this testing, uh, somebody did mention that I had not looked at organic contaminants. And this is an agricultural region and there were concerns and so on and so on. So a colleague of mine in Switzerland, Jean-Daniel Berset, he's a specialist for organic contaminants in groundwater, sent me the baked, degreased brown glass bottles and I did all the sampling. I sent him all the waters back to Switzerland and I called him up, I said, well, what did you find? And he went through the entire list, petroleum hydrocarbons and herbicides and insecticides, the whole, everything. And he said, Bill, I've never seen a water like this before. Not only can I not measure anything, I can't detect anything. I know this is your, your first visit to Elmvale, okay? But maybe somebody could volunteer to take you when we're done supper, before the presentation, it's literally a kilometer up the road, just so that you could see the artesian flow. So Ian, we still have plans uh, we're going to make an educational display in here just to show the geological cross-section and explain a little bit. Like people are here for 30 seconds. So a 30 second illustration of a groundwater flow system Absolutely. and a little bit about the history of the area. Why is our spring water so clean? Well, here's a view of the Elmvale clay plain from French's Hill from the Simcoe Uplands. Glacial deposits, that means boulders, gravel, sand, very coarse textured material. This is the zone of groundwater recharge. This is where the water enters. And the Simcoe Lowlands, these are lake sediments, clay and silt. This is the area of groundwater discharge. Right, so the water goes in at the top and comes out at the bottom. That's roughly what it is. And the key to the quality of the water is soil. Soil is Mother Nature's perfect water filtration system. So this is the artesian flow on our farm property. And I still remember the day that Mr. McLean took us over to that flow and he opened the valve and there was a little cup there and he was drinking the water coming out of the ground. And for a kid from Toronto, drinking the water from out of the ground, like, what is that? So this water has fascinated me for many, many years. All of the farmhouses that I know in the area, they all have an artesian flow. pristine water is disappearing. The, you mean off the face of the earth? The glacial age pristine water yeah. here is leaving us. Yeah. Uh, in that sense, then, it's, it's, uh, it's stuff of water. So what, what should we be doing with that? We don't know. Should we be saving uh, it? Well, maybe. In big tanks or something? Maybe. Hey, that could be.
Morning water festival. Yes. This way? So we've got a bit of a slalom course here, it looks like. Alrighty, we are here. Excellent. The water is so clean from these very clean wells that my biggest source of contamination is ambient air. Okay. The air that we're breathing. Great. Cool. So if you look at northeastern North America, we still have, you know, heavy metal contamination in our aerosols. Sure. From like each of these vehicles is like an incinerator on wheels. Great. So to do my water sampling, I have a laminar flow clean air cabinet. So I go inside my clean air cabinet where there's no particles in the air, then I open the lid, and then I sample the water. water that they're talking about is very rare. There's hardly any of it in Canada, and certainly almost none of it in Ontario. So you should be passing at the township or county level, you should be passing groundwater protection bylaws. Yeah. I don't think it's ever been done in Ontario, but there's a mechanism to do that. And you should pass it in your township councils and whatnot, and run it up the flagpole and then see how badly you get beaten. Other, otherwise, you have absolutely no power. The township is fundamentally opposed to the extraction and washing of aggregate in environmentally sensitive areas. There is presently a groundwater study being undertaken by Dr. Cherry et al., and that the findings of this report be taken into consideration by the province prior to the issuance of any further licenses. They keep coming around, lying the papers down, headline up with their minds.